Well, hello everybody, it's wonderful to have you with us. I pray wherever you are that you know that God is with you exactly in the place where you are. Well, knowing Jesus is what this series is all about. And one of the questions that we can ask is, where is Jesus when the unspeakable happens, when struggle happens, when challenges occur in our life? Many people ask that question, where is God? And it's a great question. Uh, Well, and if we're going to answer that question, if we're going to know Jesus, we need to be able to answer that question. Well, recently a hurricane, Hurricane Ian, just in the last week, went through Florida and into South Carolina, causing huge damage to so many as it has as tragedies come to people in many parts of the world from time to time. And someone just sent me a message and I just want to read to you. I received this only in the last couple of hours and it says this. You've helped me and I just wanted to say how. You see, my husband and I survived Hurricane Ian, which hit our state of Florida. We stayed in our safe place, a closet, for over nine hours while the hurricane pounded our house with 135 mile per hour winds, which are about 220 kilometers an hour. Later, we learned we were in the wall of the hurricane and it was slow moving. We only had some food supplies and water and emergency radio and my journal. In my journal were all my notes I had taken while listening to your daily devotionals each morning. It was listening to you, Bruce, and the things you said that saved us. God, of course, also saved us and protected us from losing our home, and we had some damage. But we're still able to live in it, unlike some who are now without their home. We thank God who has blessed us and you for being there for us each day. Somehow God led me to your daily devotionals, and I've learned so much especially about the Holy Spirit that has now helped me in my day-to-day life. Thank you so much. Love, Sue. And then they write, P.S. I kept repeating your words, Bruce. God is with you wherever you are, even in a hurricane. And how true that actually is. Well, when when Jesus was ascending to the Father, he speaks to his apostles right at the very end of Matthew's gospel. In Matthew 28, verse 18, and, and he says to them, and the, and the apostles being representatives of the human beings, of, of humanity, he says this, And Jesus said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I've commanded you. And remember, and remember, I'm with you always to the end of the age. And remember, I'm with you always to the end of the age. The truth is, it doesn't matter what storms we are going through in life. Jesus is with us. And we can stop and say, well, if I'm, if I'm experiencing unspeakable sadness, unspeakable tragedy in my life, what good is it if Jesus is with me? Great question. Great question. The truth is, is that with Jesus with us, if we have the eyes of faith to see, it it sometimes doesn't take away the pain and the struggle and the suffering, but it gives us a confidence that we are within God's plan, a bigger plan. When the apostles, when Jesus is preparing his apostles to leave, he's really preparing them, some scholars tell us, uh, for the persecution that will come, the challenges that will come, even those who will be put to death because of him. And Jesus is saying, I'm bigger than this. I'm with you. I'm in your heart. I'm in your heart. In, in John's Gospel, chapter 14, verse 16, it says, And I'll ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. Jesus says, to, Jesus says to his apostles, I'm going to ask the Father to send another, uh, another advocate, the Holy Spirit, to be with you. And it's the Holy Spirit that reminds us and brings Jesus and allows us to relate to Jesus, the Holy Spirit that lives within us and brings Jesus into our life more deeply, exactly where we are. In other words, we're meant to surrender to God's will and to be confident. Well, it's interesting. God has such a great sense of humor uh, when it uh, so often I find. When I arrived here this morning at our ministry center, I was I sat down to pray as I often do. And I sit at a particular table and I pray and I write my prayers out of my journal as I've shared in the past. And I was saying to the Lord, Lord, you know, we face a number of challenges along the way. 
mean, this is, this is a hard business to be in. And uh, I'm just about to travel through in, in, across the United States and in Canada. And, uh, and there's a whole pile of challenges to that and things that we don't know. And, and I have a real heart on my heart, uh, uh, a, a, a sense that the Lord wants me to bring people together to pray. And, and to share the gospel with people in a powerful way and to pray with people for healing and for, and for things in their life. And, and so I'm going to do that. And we haven't quite done it as widely as we're going to do it. Uh, and, and I was worrying about all the details and thinking, how am I going to do this? And how am I going to do that? And how are we going to do this? And how are we going to get that bit done? And then all of a sudden I heard the phone ring in the room next door. And, and uh, it's the phone, phone of the ministry. And uh, wasn't very far away from where I am, and I could hear it. And the person who normally answers the phone wasn't there. And so I walked out and I answered the phone. And I don't recall the last time I've answered the phone. I just don't answer the phone. Other people answer the phone here. It's not, not my job there. And, and, and it was someone on the phone named Janice from another time zone, another time zone, who rang and said, in my prayer last night, I felt like the Lord put something on my heart to share with you. And, and she said to me, wow, she said, I didn't expect to talk to you. Well, I don't normally answer the phone. I didn't expect to talk to her either. And she shared with me a, a one line from 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 9, and it was this. For not by might does one prevail. Or another translation said, not by strength does one prevail? In other words, what it was saying, it's not by your effort, Bruce, that all these challenges that you face, all these struggles that you're worried about are going to be overcome. It's not that. It's, it's, it's me. It's God. In other words, it's Jesus that's with us. And if we have the eyes to see, the ears to hear, and the heart that's open to understand, no matter what we go through, as, as, as Jesus is saying, I'm bigger than what you face. I'm bigger than the struggles that you go through. And I am with you. At the end of this daily devotionals, when I say God is never far away, God is right with us, right there with us all of the time. And I want to say to you today, no matter what you are going through, Jesus is with you. Well, it leads very well into the, into the uh, e-book that I've been talking about lately, Seven Life-Changing Habits We Can Learn From Mary, because Mary gives us a great demonstration of how she trusted Jesus no matter what. And even though we read in the scriptures at times where it said Mary didn't understand, Mary pondered these things in her heart, she was able to continue to trust and to trust and to trust in those circumstances. Well, I wrote this little booklet and it gets emailed to people. It's not a physical book in order to help people grow in their surrender to God. And, uh, and, and as you support the ministry, I want to just send it to you. And so uh, I don't charge for it. Um, uh, and uh, I'd love to be able to send it to you. But you, you determine how much you want to contribute to the ministry and I'll send it to you. You can go to the Give tab or you can go to this address on the screen and uh, I'd love to be able to send it to you to be able to bless you. Can I say this one thing to you? God is with you no matter what hurricanes you're going through, no matter what devastation you see around you, Jesus is with you, ever present, all of the time. Lord Jesus, I ask that you would reveal yourself to us in the good and the not so good times. That Holy Spirit, you would enliven our hearts to say a yes to Jesus exactly in the place where we are and to have confidence that Jesus is with us at all times. Thank you, Lord, for your, for your message. Thank you, Lord God, for your message that you are with us, Emmanuel, God with us. And Father, we make this prayer in the name of Jesus through the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Hey, God bless you all, everybody. See you tomorrow. And don't forget, wherever you are, God is never far from you.